So I am here today with Henry Karskadden, who is a fourth year undergraduate student at UVA. And Henry does a lot of really cool research and work with us. And um, we'd like to get to know him a little bit better. So welcome, Henry. Hey. Uh, so what are you studying um, at UVA? I think you're a double major. So correct me on that mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. And then uh, I know you're working very closely with Dr. Ravi. So uh, what are you all working on? So um, I am a fourth year studying math and computer science. And as far as the math, I'm focused on like probability and statistics. So that kind of like goes along with the work that I've been doing with uh, Dr. Ravi and also with uh, Dr. Marathi. So what I'm working on with Ravi and uh, Dr. Marathi is focused on the SEER model of epidemics, SIR, susceptible infected recovered. And so it really is focused on trying to help build a more flexible model for epidemic spread. So like traditional models like that rely on differential equations, assume that there's homogenous mixing within a population or other graphical models like the SIR model that we're working on, put other strong assumptions on it. So we want to be able to predict some of the same things in a way that is computationally tractable, but with less assumptions placed on the model. How on earth did you ever get into this field? I got really interested in uh, machine learning through the CS department and YouTube, <laughs> just seeing cool stuff. And so I applied to work at BII, and then I worked with Dr. Uh, Chin last summer. Right. And through him, I was able to meet uh, Dr. Ravi and learn more about this field. And so eventually I started working with Dr. Ravi. Uh, because he had this project that sounded really interesting to me. So do, in your research, I mean, sometimes when you're researching something, you, there is no sort of end product, right? You're, you're just researching the methodology or you're just keep on going. Are there any results necessarily from your research? Yeah, so we don't have any significant results yet because we're still working on implementing the software side of things. We're having some runtime issues that we're working on right now. And I'm about to go through some uh, code reviews with one of the other, uh, well, recent graduates now, uh, Josh Priest, to try and like understand the issue that we're having. But we're looking for eventually to help epidemiologists better understand the spread of disease. If you had to describe what you're working on to a third grader, how, how would you do that? We have a lot of uh, information, right? And right now, it's too hard to figure out what is going on in that. And we're trying to find a way to guess what is actually happening because the only way to actually understand it would take a way that is like provably too long. Yeah. We're trying to sift through information and guess how a disease will spread. We have a lot of information. Or, well, if we were supplied with a lot of information about a uh, disease and how it might spread, the way to actually know how it would spread is impossible for us to know, but we want to find a way to guess. Okay, that's perfect. So when you are done with all of this, and when you graduate, which will be next year, um, I know you're going into the Air Force for at least some amount of time, but perhaps you'll make that a career. Um, but what is your dream job? So I'll be in the Air Force for five years. Hopefully I'll be an operations research scientist. I'll be doing pretty similar things there if I had that job. And I don't really know if I have a dream job. I mean, after the Air Force, my plan is to take over a family financial planning firm for a little bit and see where I go from there. 